One of my favorite Minnesota Fighting Vikings of all time is Everson Griffin. He just loves the game. Sack Daddy gets after it. But the Vikings decide not to bring him back in 2020 after lowballing the crap out of him. He signed with the Dallas Cowboys right before Daniil had his tweak a leak. It's unfortunate timing. And there seemed to be a little bit of animosity between Everson and Zim, but apparently that got sorted out. And this offseason, Everson, who still lives in the Twin Cities, was back making overtures of wanting back in purple in 2021. Then he tweeted out that Kirk Cousins is ass. Thank you. <laughs> now, if you want back on a team, publicly insulting the quarterback and the highest paid player, and also uh, in a roundabout way, insulting the GM who gave him the, the contract and signed him in the first place, who is the guy who has to sign you? That's not good. That's not good. Even if some players think it, even currently on the roster, you know, you can't say the quiet part out loud. And we've even heard from impeccable sources a few months ago that the Vikings Everson reunion was, yeah, no, yeah, no. But recent development, Sean Borman, go. Paul Allen on KFAN said defensive end Everson Griffin desperately wants to come back to the Minnesota Vikings. Griffin texted Allen that he bleeped up with his tweets regarding Cousins and that it was wrong. Allen also mentioned Griffin still has people in his corner with the team. Now, Everson is 33 years old, but he did have six sacks last season while playing for two different teams, 492 total defensive snaps. He still got it done, uh, getting pressure on 29 of his 299 snaps and 9.7% pressure rate. Uh, his six sacks, by the way, would have led the Vikings last year. Yannick would have been number two with five, which is just absolutely depressing. Nah. Now, I do really like the young core of guys opposite of Daniil Hunter. You got DJ Wanamere or two. You got Weatherly coming back, a solid, versatile veteran. You got Kenny Willekes, the former seventh-round pick. I think that Johnny Tryhard could do a little something this year. You got Patrick Jones, the second, third round out of Pitt. Janaris Robinson's got the length of uh, Daniil 2.0 in the fourth round out of Florida State. I love their potential. I, I do. But the Vikings have considered bringing in a veteran pass rusher. They flirted with Trey Hendrickson and Carlos Dunlap in free agency. And also the idea of Ryan Kerrigan and Justin Houston has been thrown out there as well. But the problem is with Everson, who do you cut? Uh, if you do bring Everson aboard, whose spot does he take? Because you're probably not going to hold on to 11 defensive linemen on the 53. What will probably happen with Everson is I don't think that he'll be in camp with the team. I think that he'll go into the season also not on the team. But if there's a need in season, uh, say a, a team out there has a couple injuries or they're just not getting production on the edge, a guy like Everson coming in, eh, he could get the call uh, from the Vikings or other teams out there. Yes, he tweeted out, at ah, Kirk Cousins' is ass. Thank you. But teams have forgiven players for a lot more. I mean, come on. So Everson can still play. I think he can still contribute in a rotational capacity. Plus, you love the leadership and the passion. And sometimes you just need that... You need that fire, man. You do. So maybe it'll be water under the bridge. Maybe the Vikings will bring 97. Well, I don't know what number he's going to wear anymore. Nah, he's got to get 97 back. Well, is Pierce going to give it up? Probably not. Probably not. But I don't blame him. But either way, will the Vikings and Everson get the band back together? I still think he's a pretty significant underdog. But, you know, sometimes the long shots come through. But your thoughts? Vikings, Everson? Yeah. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Pull some of the Venmo. But until next time, Skull production value.